All right, it's uh, Monday. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe how fast this year is going. Anyway, um, I've changed the position of the uh, uh, figure of Noah. I'm going to have him holding the model that he's just carved um, on his lap. And uh, not sure what I'm going to do with this hand yet. This hand here, he's going to be stroking his beard and admiring what he just uh, carved. It's kind of like a model based on the uh, uh, information on the uh, size and all that stuff that was given to him through inspiration. And uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing today is working on his head. If I can't get the head, the rest of it's not going to work out anyway. So that's what I've got to work on today. Time to play with some play. We've got some thunder and lightning going on outside. And uh, at least it wasn't snow. And uh, I'm glad to see that it's just uh, rain. We need rain. All right. Let's get him in to his jig here. All right, I got the camera about one inch from my head. <laughs> so if I bang on the uh, camera, it's because my head just... Uh, it's right there. I'm going to take my time doing Noah's head. I'm not sure why people lived longer back then, but according to the uh, Bible. Noah was 500 years old when he finished the ark. So I'm assuming in, he would have been in his 400th year of life as he was building it. Now would he look like somebody who's in their 90s now? I doubt it. Because these guys' lifespan was a whole lot more than it is now. And I think it's because their lineage were fresh out of the Garden of Eden. And uh, they just didn't have the... Uh, things that work against our health nowadays, working against their health. And uh, that's all I can think of is exactly what the heck made them so old. And uh, I think it was after the flood that... Uh, Our creator decided to limit the years of a life to 120 years. I think Moses lived to be 160. Just hard to fathom that kind of age.
I'm going to try to put some wrinkles in his upper lid. putting some bags under his eyes. I'm happy with that. Now, if I can do the same thing on the other eye, I'll be really happy. Putting the wrinkles in this eye. Okay, trying to put some wrinkles in. dropped his nostril. <laughs> I just can't find it either. I have to remake it again. Oop, there he goes. Trouble with sticky clay is it's sticky. There we go. Come on, get back on there. There we go. thing about using someone else's character that they've drawn use it as a basis but make it your own character just use it as a guide you don't have to do it exactly like theirs but it's always good to have inspiration for the uh, character you're trying to do. I'm happy with this.
I'm going to have to call it quits right now. Because it's getting late in the afternoon. And if I want to get this video out tonight, <laughs> before too late, I'm going to have to quit, call it quits. And besides that, I think I've got it as far as I'm going to go right now. I like his profile. I like that nose. I really like that nose. It's got character. Real, real nice character. He's got character. I'm trying to develop a face that has humor in it, but it also has determination. And someone who, when he hears a voice from above, he obeys without question. I put the head back on. <coughs> it doesn't look too big, so I'm I'm happy with that. Let's just double check my proportion. Yeah. It's okay. All right, let me explain what's going to happen. He's going to be holding a model that he's carved to scale and to proportions that uh, he's been given. And he's going to be looking at it and admiring it and stroking his beard. His beard's going to be longer. I just don't want to do it right now until I get the rest of his body worked out. It's got a long ways to go, but uh, at least I got that part done. And uh, it's going to look better. It doesn't look so great now, but it will look better. All right, everybody. Have a great night. See you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.